Hello, my name is Sandhya and welcome to my channel. In today's video, we're going to try a pula recipe from the state of Arunachal Pradesh called Karzi Pula. The ingredients list for this dish is given in the description box below. Before you move into the video, don't forget to subscribe, click the bell, like, share and comment. So the first thing to do for this dish is to cook the rice. So I've taken one cup of long grain basmati rice and cooked it in two cups of salted water and then cooled it completely and kept it ready. I've spread it out in a plate and left it to cool and now it's at room temperature. The next step is to soak some dry red chilies in hot water which I've done here. Now we'll make a paste of one medium tomato, a small piece of ginger, four garlic pots and I've used mozzarella cheese here. The original recipe uses locally fermented cheese. Since we don't have access to that, I've taken mozzarella cheese. Now we'll make a paste out of all these ingredients. You can use the water in which the red chili has soaked to make the paste. So I'll make the paste and come back. So I've made a fine paste of, out of the ingredients. Now let's move on to making the rice. So the next step is to place a kadai on fire. I've added two tablespoons of oil to this, medium heat. Once the oil is nice and hot, I've got sliced onions in here, which I'm going to add to it. Now we'll cook the onions until they are golden brown in color. So the onions have started to brown. Now we'll add in the paste that we have made. Now we'll cook the paste until it thickens and also the oil separates. So the paste has thickened and the oil has separated. At this stage, we'll add in green peas. If you're using fresh green peas, make sure you cook it before you add into this. I'm using uh, frozen green peas, so I'm adding it directly. Along with this, we'll also add in spring onion. I've used the white as well as the green parts. Now we'll mix everything together and cook it for a minute or two. So I've cooked it for two, three minutes. Now bring the fire down and we'll add in the cooked rice. Now we'll just toss the rice in the masala. Since we had already sa salted the water in which the rice is cooked, you can check the salt at this stage and add if necessary. So I've tossed the pulao in the masala and it's ready. Now we'll just garnish it with some spring onion greens and the pulao is ready to be served. So the pulao is ready, you can serve this with some raita. Do try this recipe at home and let me know in the comment section. I'll see you next time with a new recipe. Until then, bye bye.